Darkhawk. <laughs> Dating, sex, and relationships, the science of. Don't you want to know what Bill Nye, the science guy, thinks of sex? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Let's find out what my good friend Bill Nye has to say about sex. When it comes to sex, we're all animals. Sex is how you pass your genes into the future. It's evolution's way of providing innovation, new traits, new colors, new shapes. For most animals, they have sex during a single season, single time of year. It's just something you gotta get done if you're a living thing on Earth. It's business. But when it comes to humans, we wanna have sex all the time. Procreation, schmocreation. Apparently, the same evolutionary processes that gave us this big brain allowed us to predict the future and see what a burdensome situation sex can put you in. So along with that, evolutionary processes created this super hard drive to have sex anytime, anywhere. Actually, there's a great deal of evidence now that all kinds of different animals get pleasure from having sex. Now, why would that be? Well, evolution is what determines our size and shape, how tall we are, our hair color, and so on. Well, apparently it also determines what we feel, our emotions. So by getting pleasure out of sex, we are driven to have sex and pass our genes on. I mean, check this guy out. There's something going on in this boy panda's mind. When he looks at the girl panda, he's thinking, Viva la difference, or uh, long live the difference. In fact, that's the essence of this. Without sex, your genes wouldn't live long at all. <laughs> you know, all this talk about sex is making me hungry. Wait, that's not what I meant. All this talk about sex is making me horny. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Bill. Yeah. <laughs>